Hey, what is going on, guys? Betty Games back with another video, and today we will be playing the Battlefield 1 open beta. And I will be doing not a live commentary because everything when I recorded this video, every single voice in the game, even my friends' voices, got just jumbled up into one. So I'll do a voiceover. So at this point of the video, we are going to be jumping into the game in Battlefield 1, the open beta. There is only one map. The Sine Desert and I probably pronounced that wrong. To capture and hold the flag and the other game mode is called Rush. So at this point you get to choose what team you'd like to be on. Apples and King and there's all sorts of different names for them. And then we actually go into the objectives and you get to pick what class you want. Assault, Medic and two other variants. You get to choose what gun you want, primary gun lethals all that stuff and now we jump into the match and i am running the m111 trench right now and first we get to be in the desert and then we're on top of the bus next thing you know it's just a massive shit show <laughs> now i must say this game does run very smoothly compared to battlefield hardline back in battlefield hardline it was a lot harder to get kills but in battlefield one and only in the open beta i really don't know how much they're going to change it in the actual game it is very smooth. It runs very smoothly. The graphics look amazing on PS4. And right now I'm in a tank and it just looks amazing. You can swap like the seats. There's three different types of tanks. And overall, it's just a basically good game. Everything in the beta was done well. So hopefully it's just the exact same as when the game really does come out. Like I said, it was very easy to get kills. And I've also noticed when playing this game, even the smallest details make the best differences. Like when you're using the tank for example, you can like blow up buildings and it will actually blow up. Even the barbed wires when you walk over it, you get hurt and the weather, like it turns foggy. There's, well I haven't seen the fog but in the trailer and in the gameplay from when celebrities actually went to go play it, I saw all these different fogs and textures and everything that makes it so much different. Now in this part I actually decided to spawn inside an airplane and this just looks amazing. It's only um, a pilot and a gunner, but the pilot can obviously do a bombing run and shooting. And there is also another plane that has a back gunner and a front gunner and the pilot as well. So if you have three people on your team, you can just pick that fighter plane. But it actually doesn't do much damage to people because it's very hard to shoot. It looks amazing when you're on the plane, but it's very hard to shoot the gun when you're on it. It only does well against tanks. So while we're on the topics of so many tanks, there is actually this massive tank that I can't remember the name of, but it's a big black train. I didn't get to go into it, but it just wreaks havoc on the map. Going around every single objective, you can just bomb and go and bomb. And Here my friend is about to throw down a smoke and it actually looks very realistic. And me just being a noob at the start just threw on my gas mask when I didn't really need to. And I think we got killed from behind. Yeah, we got shot from behind. But that gas looked very realistic. At this point, I was very, very excited to ride the horse in the game. And in this, I think you got a musketeer and a sword and two other things that I can't remember. But I really, really loved this part of the gameplay. Because this was so well done. Like, the controlling the horse was not that hard. Except when you wanted to turn around. But it ran so smoothly when I decided to go on this horse and pick up a few kills with the sword. When you're using the horse though, it is very hard to actually shoot the musketeer. So your better option is to actually use the secondary, which is the sword that they give you. In this, I actually managed to get the kill right here and it looks just amazing. There are so many things in this game that I got so excited about. At this point, I did my first bayonet charge and I got a kill with it. You lunge so far and you go so fast for such a long distance that it's insane how this bayonet charge has actually worked. Right here I thought our plane was actually smoking because we hit another plane so I decided to jump out and parachute for the first time. And I landed on this ledge near a mountain and here on this ledge I think I pick up a five piece because um, none of them were noticing me coming up the hill because there's actually this tank that pushes me off right here. 
and there's actually a second tank up there as well getting some kills. Battlefield 1 is just basically a simple World War 2 game. It's what we all wanted, we all just wanted to go back, we don't want any of that futuristic double jump boosting, none of that. We just want to go back to simple, plain, easy to get kills with any normal guns like what this is in Battlefield 1. So I'm very, very impressed out of this game. Only for the open beta. I really don't know what it's going to be like when there's going to be changes in the real game, but we'll see about that. Now, close quarter shooting is my favorite range because you get right into the action and it's very tense. Whoever shoots the first bullet basically wins, and that's what it should be hip fire or headshot. Either way, it should be first person who shoots should get the kill. And barging through that door actually was very very new for me because I did not know that that was going to happen. I thought he was just going to simply push the door open and that's it. He literally barged through the door and that's just another little simple thing that Battlefield 1 added in just to make it a bit better. This is actually a really good game for stress relief because basically after work or anything you do after a long day of school you could just literally just pick up this game casually play and that's it. Get a few kills and then all those bad memories of the day is just gone. And in that part there when I was clubbing someone to death, that was actually very new to me also because I don't really play much Battlefield so I don't really know much about the game. The only first ever Battlefield I played was Battlefield Hardline and if you actually want to go watch those Hardline videos that I've actually uploaded, there are a few walkthroughs that I did and I probably won't be completing those because I've probably done them all but I just haven't recorded it so I won't be really going back to do it because it wasn't really much interesting stuff to do it or to watch anyway so I'll just probably leave that and also I will actually be playing NBA 2K16 the prelude because I love basketball in real life I've never really experienced much of the NBA game so I will be playing this new 2K17 prelude game hopefully I can get it uploaded on the weekend because I'm very busy with school yet again, so I really don't want that to clash. And honestly guys, in my opinion, this open beta for Battlefield 1 is definitely a 9 or if not a 10 out of 10 in my books because everything was very well done in my opinion. So I will definitely be getting this game when it comes out and I will definitely do more gameplay for it with the new maps, new guns, new everything. And hopefully the new NBA 2K17 Prelude video will be out on the weekend also. So if you guys like the video, leave a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.